Um, just your thoughts on this game ahead, and um, you know, what do you sort of think you have to take from this game in terms of keeping the the campaign going forward? Um, yeah, I think if you buy Leverkusen, they're, they're a very good side. I think it'll be a tough game for us, but um, you know, I think we've got belief, and we've been growing belief in, in the squad throughout the last few games that you know we can go places like like over there and 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 play our football and try and try and get a result. How have you found your own form of late? I mean, the, the squad have really put together a really good run of form that includes defensively as well. How have you found um, the defensive side of things in recent weeks? You know, I think we, I think we're improving. I think we continue to improve. I think obviously I first got here and you know it's all new new um, faces, new new players that everyone's playing with. So especially defensively, I think we're always going to take a little bit of time to to adjust to each other and and really get partnerships going. But I think I think we're getting there now. Yeah, Cameron, on a, on a similar kind of theme, I guess the way the manager likes to play, um, you know, uh, lots of attacking football, it, it makes, I guess, the, the centre-backs and the defenders' jobs uh, arguably maybe maybe harder. Uh, and yet it seems like, you know, you, you guys are kind of going into it pretty pretty strongly. Yeah, no, I think I think you're right. I think, you know, the way the manager wants to play, sometimes it can leave, leave us maybe a bit exposed. That's something, you know, that we, we need to learn and, and find ways to cope with. And I, obviously the coaching staff do coach us defensively as well. And, and on where to be when we have the ball and, and how to counter defend anything like that. But but yeah, like I was saying before, I think it's just um the more you the more you play with players, the more you play in the system, you, you get used to it and you um yeah, you build partnerships. And in terms of testing yourself at the at the top level, how important is it to you that Celtic are playing in the the better competition? If I know you've got European football guaranteed after Christmas regardless, but to get something maybe positive in Germany to give yourself a chance of staying in the in the Europa League. You know, I think that's obviously what what we want to do. You know, we like I said before, we got belief in in the squad and in the, in the team that we can we can go pl- play teams out by Leverkusen and, and get results. So so yeah, it's definitely something we're looking to do. Hi Cameron, they've had some pretty patchy form of late. I think they've only won two of their last eight games, and the fact that you guys are on a good run does that give you some hope that you can get something out of this game? Um, yeah, a little bit. I think more of the fact that we're we're on a good run and we we got momentum with us. I think. We don't really look too much at kind of their form, you know. We know we know what we know their strengths, and um, we know there'll be a tough test. But yeah, looking at us, you know, we have been on a good run, and we have got momentum behind us. So it's for us to to keep that going. Is there also a bit of hope that, despite the fact it was a, a four 0 scoreline against yourselves at home, you did create a lot of chances. That there was opportunities there for you. It's just a, a case of taking them and, and staying tight at the back. Yeah, no, definitely. I think obviously overall, massively just. Diff- Disappointing result to lose four 0 but like you said, I think at nil nil early stages of the game we had a few chances. I think Kyogo had a, had a couple of chances. Um, so yeah, obviously we we've looked back at that game now. And we know where we can improve, and that's what we're going to try and to do tomorrow. Cameron, you talked a little bit about um, the impact that you've had in your own performances, but in terms of that, in that context and the development, how has Celtic been um, so far as a fit for you? Yeah, no, I've re- I've really enjoyed it. You know, as soon as I come here, you know all the. The staff, the players, they've all been, all been good with me and, and that's, that's helped me a lot. Um, and yeah, you know, I think the, the coaching staff, the manager here, they, they want to play football in, in the right way. Um, and that, that's obviously, that's obviously a, it, make, it makes football enjoyable. So, yeah. One of the early concerns that the, in the early part of the season was the consistency in that back four. Um, when you look at the performances you've had lately and, and how far you've all come, how does that feel now compared to where it started? Yeah, I think, like I said, I think we've improved. Um, and like I was saying before, I think, you know, when I come here, you know, you look at the, the defenders we have and everyone's individually is a good player. Um, so I think it just, like I was saying, it just takes time, especially defensively, um, to kind of build them partnerships up and, and get used to playing with each other and working with each other. And, and like I said, I think that's that's showing now. What kind of test are you expecting tomorrow night? I think it'll be, be a big test. Um, obviously a good team playing a top league and um, they've got, they got good attacking players, good good um, midfield player, so I think it'll be, it'll be a test for us, but it's one we're looking forward to. How important is it for, for you and the club to progress in this European competition? Yeah, I think it's, it's important, you know, um, like the other guy was saying before, we got, we know we're, we'll have European football after Christmas, but for us it's, it's trying to play at the, the highest level we can, and obviously while that opportunity is still there for us to progress in the Europa League, that's what we want to, that's what we want to try and do. Hi Cameron, uh, you were just talking about creating defensive partnerships, but since, since you've come in, it seems to be yourself and one other. I think you've played 90 minutes every single match since you've been at Celtic. How much confidence does it give you that the manager 
had so much confidence in in yourself. Um, yeah, no, it's always helps. You know, when you when you know the manager believes in you, um, it gives you the confidence to kind of go out there and, and and play your game and and yeah, so yeah, that's helped that's helped massively. Just going back to the last meeting between you two months ago, the four nil defeat. Obviously, you did have plenty of chances, but what do you think specifically went wrong defensively, and and how do you change that tomorrow night? Um, I think if you look at a lot of their goals in the four 0 defeat, you know they scored a lot on the counter, um, and I think that's something that obviously we've looked at. So we've looked at, and we we're going to try and fix tomorrow. I think it's just a bit maybe all, when we have the ball, our organising organisation behind it. But like I said, we we've, we've looked at that, and that's something we're gonna gonna try and do tomorrow. So since the defeat to Leverkusen, you've went on a nine match unbeaten run with eight victories. Do you feel that the side is in a positive place thanks to the consistency in the results? Yeah, no, hundred percent. I think um, you know all the players are enjoying it at the moment, enjoying their football, enjoying being in and around the training ground, and that's that just helps to to breed more confidence. And you know that's what we want to when we go there tomorrow. That's what we want to try and keep going the momentum. Even with a wide range of different nationalities now playing their trade at Celtic, the group seems really, really tight knit. Um, what is the atmosphere like in the camp just now with so many different personalities? Yeah, I think it's good. You know, I think that's quite a good thing. You know, you've got loads of people from all over the world and you know, everyone kind of comes together, adds a bit of what they bring in and it kind of creates a good good pot of people, good pot of good environment to be around and it's something that I'm I know personally I'm really enjoying and I think most of the boys are as well. Hey, hi Cameron, just the word about James Forrest, obviously he came back and got the goal last week against St Johnson, how big an asset will he be going forward for you guys? Yeah, I think he'll be, he'll be big for us, you know, he's, um, he's a good player, he's got, got quality on the ball, um, he knows the game as well, he's intelligent movement, so I think, um, you know, like, like he showed when he came on against um, St Johnson, he, um, he scored the winning goal and that's what I think he can do more of. As a defender, how good is it having that array of attackers with so much pace and quality to play the ball into? Yeah, no, it's good. You know, when you got as a defender, you go out on the pitch. If you have faith in your forwards that they will score, um, that kind of helps you because you, you know, you don't really have to. You know, it's just a matter of time. You can be patient and kind of, you know, do your thing and knowing that they'll do theirs. So, so yeah, it's good.